Alright, we're going to look at how to create our own drum super kits in Logic's EXS24. Now I have a simple arrangement here in Logic and I took some samples, uh, piano and bass, from our Hip Hop Producer Pack 7. What I need to do is create a nice edgy drum kit that I can use to build around in this song. To get started, you'll need to load up an instrument track, pull up an EXS24, and select a nice dry acoustic drum kit that you have. In my case, I chose a metalcore kit that I created a while back by taking the one-shot samples that came with the download from our Death Metal Drum Loops product. So that's a little taste of the kick and snare. And I played those because we're going to turn our attention to layering those sounds. If you scroll up to the right and click on edit, you get your edit window to pop up. And you'll see it's identified all these samples. Uh, and these are the drum samples used in this kit. And they're represented visually down here by nodes above this keyboard. Each node represents its own sound. And you have the ability to move these nodes left or right and stack them. So that will allow you to layer sounds together to get really fat tones. The first thing I want to do is fatten up this kick with some bottom end. So it's a nice crispy kick. Um, but I can do that by going up to zone, selecting load multiple samples, and then I'll scroll through different samples that I have till I find something I like. So I have these different drum samples here, and I could potentially go through all of them. But I have a go-to sub sound that I like, um, and it's this sound here. I'm just going to go ahead and add that. Click Done. And we can just go ahead and click C1, Contiguous Zones. Now it's added this sound, if you look here visually, onto C1. So I also have a crash on that. Um, that's why you're hearing both sounds. But I want to take this and move it over to where my kick is at. Now it changed in pitch. You need to make sure your pitch is turned off in this scenario or else it'll scale up as you go up on the keys. But now listen. So we've layered a nice kick. Uh, the sub kick might be a little loud. You can just scroll up and you've got a little mixer here if you wanted to do some panning. Um, but you can take the volume down a bit. We'll take it down about minus four. So now we have a nice combination of those two sounds. Now we want to do the same thing with the snare. I've got this nice hard hit here. I'm just going to layer in another snare to thicken it up. So I just go to zone, load multiple samples. And I scroll through my samples till I find something I like. And we'll take that one. Just gonna add that snare. Contiguous zones. Go ahead and drop it on C1 for me. And I'll take this snare and I'll just move it over. Simple as that. So again, I gotta turn my pitch off. This is without it, with it. This form of stacking is very popular in hip hop, so it's nice that you can do it all within one sampler. Again, that'll save you time and track space in the future. And uh, essentially, you can stack or layer anything you want. Uh, it's popular to do on claps. Uh, they're even doing it on hi-hats in hip hop. Uh, so get used to this technique. Now, once you have a kit all tricked out how you like it, you want to go up to Instrument and just choose Save As and give it a name and it will then save that preset for you so you can access that kit at a later date. 